I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to talk about and explore friction. So I know that you all have experience with friction and that you know what it is. But it is always easier to talk about something when you agree on a definition of what that thing is. So an easy working definition of friction is Friction is the resistance that one surface or object will experience when sliding across another surface or object. So if I am sliding my hands together, I'm going to experience a bit of friction. If you roll a ball across the floor, it starts at a certain speed. And as it travels, it slows down and will eventually stop. And the thing that causes the slowing and stopping is, you guessed it, friction. So because we've all had experience with friction, we can make a couple observations about it. So if you've ever slid across a floor with your socks on, you probably have observed that it's easier to slide across a tile floor or a slippery wooden floor than it is to slide across a carpeted floor. If you have two identical boxes and one has books in it and one is empty and you're sliding those boxes across the floor, the box that is empty is easier to slide because the box that has books in it will experience more friction. So we're going to get to our activity today, and our activity is exploring friction. And to do that, we are going to use pads of sticky notes. I've already prepared part of it, and I've divided sticky notes into separate pads of equal amounts. So these two pads have 20 each. So I've done a set that has five sticky notes in it, a set that has 10 sticky notes in it, a set that has 20 and a set that has 30. So what we are going to do next is interleave the sticky notes together. So I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to line them up and drop down one sheet of each. Let's go back. And I want those closer together and I'm going to keep going through the whole pad. <laughs> Sometimes they slip right out of my fingers, so I have to make sure that I'm Keeping them straight. So go ahead and interleave all of your stacks. So the stack of five, the stack of ten, the stack of twenty, and the stack of thirty. Here is my stack of five, that is my stack of 10. This is my stack of 20, and that is my stack of 30. And what we are going to do now is one by one attempt to pull our stacks apart. So I am going to start with the stack of five. And that came apart pretty easily. There was a little resistance at first, but then it got quite easy to do. Next, we'll move on to the stack of 10. And here we are. Okay, that was harder to get going, but still in the end, they came apart fine. So, what do you think is going to happen? Now is a good point to 
make an educated guess. So do you think that this stack of 20 is going to be harder to pull apart? And if so, do you think we're going to get it apart? Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, that was again harder to start off with, but I did get them pulled apart. And now we are going to try the stack of 30. So I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to show it to you end on and Okay, this stack is really not coming apart. I'm going to readjust the view so you can see that I really am trying. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm applying quite a bit of pressure and they are not coming apart. So what is the reason for that? Obviously, because we are talking about friction, you know that the reason is because of friction. So there are some things we need to be aware of with friction. So this large capital F is the force friction. This fancy M is called mu. It's a Greek letter and it's the coefficient of friction. And this italicized F is the normal force. The coefficient of friction is a value that describes the ratio of the force of friction between two bodies. So since our surfaces here are all the same, they're all sticky note paper, mu is going to be the same in all of these activities we did. So the coefficient of friction will stay the same. So the normal force is the pushing of two surfaces together. The harder we pulled our pages, the higher our normal force became. So when we pulled the interleaved pages, the sheets in the middle get squeezed together as we try to pull apart. And if you look at it sideways on, you'll notice that when you're not pulling, there are gaps between some of the pages. And when you pull tighter, those gaps disappear. So our normal force increases when we're pulling on those pages, which increases the total effect of friction. So is there anything you can do to further explore this topic? There is. You can do the same activity with larger books. If you have two phone books, you can interleave the pages and then try to pull the phone books apart. And if you do that activity, let me know if you're able to pull them apart and how much force you needed to use to do that. I hope that you enjoyed our exploration of friction. I will be back in a couple weeks and we're getting into summer, so we'll be doing lots more exploration of STEM, so I hope you join us for that. And until next time, I hope that you continue to explore your world. And thank you.